Hi, I'm Nate Story with uh, Bright Agritech, and today we're going to talk about solid lifting overflows or SLOs. Right, so today I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, the drainage system in here in the fish house, and uh, specifically about the SLOs that we use, because um, we've been getting a lot of questions. SLOs are kind of one of these things that a lot of people have become interested in lately. Uh, because they do a lot of really nice things for your system. So I'm going to talk about uh, the ones we have installed in here. We've always run our systems using SLOs, which are solid lifting overflows. And um, we really like them because they both uh, maintain a constant water level in your fish tank, but they also pull all of the debris and all of the solids up off the bottom of the tank so that they can be removed from your fish tank. So they do a few different things that are really useful all at once. So every single one of our tanks has an SLO in it, and it's basically a standpipe that sets the, the water uh, as constant in your fish tank. And that pipe comes down and it drains out through this two inch um, pipe here uh, to, our, to our other tanks. But essentially what that is, is it's a, it's a central pipe with a pipe around it. It's uncovered at the top so you're not forming a siphon. And um, that inside pipe is slightly lower than the outside pipe, and the outside pipe has openings around the bottom. So water flows into the outside pipe at the bottom and it flows up around the inside pipe and then it drops down uh, through the top of the inside pipe. So what that does is it means that the water level can never drop below that inside, the height of that inside pipe. In our systems, that inside pipe runs down into that two inch, uh, into that two inch uh, pipe right there and it, it drains our tanks. Now ours is a little bit more complicated. It's hidden by an actual clean-out system. So this four-inch stuff here that you see, that's a clean-out system. We can drain our entire system if we want. And it also captures some solids. So from time to time, we'll open a gate valve, blow, out the, blow the solids out of the clean-out system, and shut it again. Um, and that's basically just a, a larger hole around, um, around that inside pipe. So I'll show you a little bit, um, I'll show you an example on a small system we have in the back just to kind of show you what those SLOs look like, what they operate like, because they're kind of hard to see on these large systems. But if you look up here, you'll see the outside pipe and the inside pipe. I'll show you that. So this large pipe here, this is the outside pipe. That is a four inch outside pipe. It's open down at the very bottom, allowing the solids from this conical bottom tank to flow in and to flow up the inside of this pipe here. And inside of there, it's hard to take out, but if I took that off, what you would see is you would see an opening at the bottom going into our clean out system, and you would see the inside pipe um, standing basically in an L that goes into that two inch piping down there. So this is a nice little uh, hobby system down here. It's been running for a couple of years. Uh, I built it with an intern of ours, Noah, um, for the interns to basically kind of play with and understand how these systems work. But um, it's been running for a while. It's a really productive little hobby system. It's nice because it's got a really small footprint. Um, it's essentially a sump-based system, and we're using an SLO to drain this top tank. So this pipe here essentially operates as the outside pipe that I was telling you about. If I pull this pipe out, you'll see that it's open down at the bottom. So there are these openings down here that allow the water to flow in down below. But you'll see that the top of this sticks out of the water. So the water isn't going to flow up and flow through here, right? We're always going to be pulling off of the bottom of this tank. You'll also see that this inside pipe, this is the actual drain pipe. And this just goes straight down through the bottom of the barrel using a fitting and just drains right down into the bottom of this tank down here. So what that does is it makes it so that as the water is flows into this up, upper barrel, um, it will flow up to the point where it slightly exceeds the, the height of this inside pipe. And then it will start to flow from the bottom of the tank, start to flow pulling up media, or pulling up solids, up the inside of this pipe, and then over down into the actual drain pipe. I take out this freshly planted tower and um, basically allow you to peek back into the system. You will see uh, 
the water flowing from the upper tank into the lower, just dropping right down um, from the bottom of that drain pipe. And that is essentially how an SLO works. Hi, this is Nate Story with Bright Agritech, and today we're going to talk about ammonia. So ammonia is a really important thing to understand in aquaponic systems um, because it's one of the primary things that the fisher.